Hello and welcome to some Arca at Chicagoland. Whew, I'm back on <laughs> some more familiar turf. Been doing so many short tracks lately. Uh, I'm on a bigger track. Hopefully I'm feeling a little bit more comfortable out here. Um, number two car here tonight. I have a decent amount of people signed up. It's after work on Monday for me. Um, there's some names I'm a little, a little concerned about. But, of course, considering how I've been driving lately, I'm probably the name other people are worried about. <laughs> no, I definitely need to work on my short tracks, but hoping I'm, I haven't forgotten how to drive Arca. Why did I shift so early? What am I doing? Uh, do I get a better run? I might get a better run out of the pits since I shifted too early. Yeah. Green flag, green flag. Sorry, sorry. Sorry for the delay, everyone. I'm gonna U-turn this thing. Um, I kinda wanna... I think I can get up to speed on this first lap and... Probably hit a good lap from here, so... I wanna get this right. Um, my time best I hit was a 31-1. Track's a little cooler. Setup's a little bit tight for my liking. I would like it to be a little bit looser, but I like it real loose, so I'm sure it's fine. I'm just worried about burning off my right front like I often do. A little bit, a little bit uh, better around there. I'll take this. And I'll take the apron. So, taking the high line, as I love to do. Kind of getting off the gas a little bit to get it yawed out on entry. Oh, I got it too far sideways there, though. It killed my run off. Uh, mad at me for doing that but 151 that's still okay ish maybe I can do better the second lap if I avoid getting uh, sideways leaders in the O's don't get loose here looks like this should be a little bit better uh, just barely. Oh, eight, two. I'll barely eke out the pole for now. We still got some very fast guys coming in, though. Um, I heard some people talking, saying that uh, a guy named Mitchell Brighton is Josh Berry's alt account or something. I don't know if that's just a joke. Like, they know that guy and they're like, haha, we're gonna spread this funny rumor. Or if that's actually true or not, but regardless of who it is, I'm saying too much. Uh, I'm just going to give him distance is all. I've seen him drive through people. So I don't care if he's an actual driver or not. I'm going to be giving him space. But either way, for now, I'm okay with that lap. I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, I still think I could have been faster lap one if I didn't mess it up, but take it. Uh, I don't know how well I'm going to do because I'm probably going to burn my tires off. But with the high line being dominant, I might be able to hold on better, even with older tires. So I just have to, I want to get the track position quick and hopefully just hold on to it by driving the high line and not letting anyone uh, above me. I'm running 12 to one, my steering offset at my preference of negative 15. And then the brake bus back in case I start needing to use brakes. I don't know how this thing's gonna feel at the end of 35 laps, but if I'm gonna be using brakes, I definitely want to be back as far as possible in this car because it doesn't go very far back to begin with. And I would like that rotation, even if I'm just barely using it. So, uh, seven seconds to go. A couple of guys only did one lap. 
so far. Like the That's one, the end of the session. three didn't session. qualify at all. They're going to be all the way back there. So they've got the work cut out for them. Looks like I got the pole. Oh, I guess we're getting ready to go. So, hey, there's that track position I wanted. It would be interesting to see if I could get into 30s. That would be a cool challenge for myself. See if I could get it into the 30s. I probably could. But I'd have to hit a really good lap, obviously. One lap I bet with some draft, one maybe I could get inside. it. Closed. Pit road is closed. So I guess we'll do session last lap. And uh, I'm just going to try to keep my track position. Hopefully get a good jump at the start here. Uh, I wasn't even going to record this race. I am so exhausted from work. I don't even feel on the top of my game. So sorry if the commentary lacks any energy. Uh, but I was like, nah, hit record. Go ahead. So I did. I always like having races to upload, of course. And you never know when you're going to have an all-time classic. So... <laughs> And if I end up not liking the recording, I can always just toss it into the recycle bin. So, and if I did that, you'll never know. <laughs> well, anyway, we've got Josh Berry question mark behind us. Mitchell Brighton, I don't know. I probably sound like a doofus who fell for the bait. But it was like two separate people like in a comment section talking about it. Or something. They're like, oh yeah, that's Josh Berry's alt account. So if they're trying to trick people, they're doing a good job. Remember to do this in case I'm suffering majorly on lap 34. It's got a way to get the car turning a little bit better. It's gonna be crucial not to hit the wall. I could easily do that as my first race this week, obviously, as it is Monday and I just got home. So I might uh, not react to the car's changes quick enough and end up into the wall. Hopefully not. Things happen. That's too close to the chip. We're doing a second gear start. I'm gonna go early like I usually do. Pace the car, get off, and then uh, hopefully get a nice little oh, jump. Okay. Good enough. I'll take it. A little throttle here. I'm taking the. What was um, that? It's what? Missed the shift. Sorry, Matt. Oh, we got problems back there already. Guy missed the shift. Sounds like. Come up here right away. Got some space, so maybe I will take it easy for now. This is my version of taking it easy. <laughs> Lifting off completely to get this thing yawed out. Trying to be on the right rear, we'll see what happens. Maybe use this uh, seam, get it sideways, we'll see how it, how it works out again. First race of the week. If I fall off hard, I'll know. If I want to give this another another go on my own time. But I'll have fun in the meantime. That lower line is just real slow. I've I tried doing it in practice a little bit. It's so much slower. So I'm gonna instead try to save tires up on the high line as best as I can. And uh, balance it out. 
These races aren't crazy long, so... Might be able to survive it. We're gonna find out. A little too sideways there. I didn't like the way I lost some momentum. But at least I am on the right rear. I'm playing with the throttle. Giving it little bursts to help you out out. If possible. Uh, maybe try to get on the steam like I said, if I can. If I were good, I would probably be on that seam every time, but don't have quite the car control for that. You pull it away. The gap behind us now. 0.9. That last lap was at 31.5. So about a second back for now. Feels okay. Definitely gonna be cutting this uh, apron every time. It's worth a, de a decent bit, um, enough to where it's significant enough to not want to miss out. The second back behind us and growing, but again, easily could fall off before the end of this. Trying to power through the looseness and use it to my advantage. And uh, getting that gap is by design, too. I know I'm probably ruining the tires, but I'm hoping that I can uh, use what I've gained here. hold them off long enough. You know, they have to catch back up a second. 1.2 seconds of growing whenever the tires do turn into their favor. And then they have to pass me. And uh, with me running the high side, I think that's going to be a difficult task for them. They're going to have to try to do some slide jobs or something. And maybe it'll take me out, but if they choose not to take me out, it's going to be a hard thing to actually get done for them. So. Just trying to be consistent. <laughs> Pretty fun, feathering the throttle. Um, trying to get the car to feel how I want it to. Almost feel like it's getting a little bit loose on the apron. Any yaw I can get, I would take. Hey, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I should be saving my right rear this whole time. And uh, the right front won't be the problem, but it certainly felt like uh, the right front was going to be the issue for me. Loving this gap we got, though. feel it getting tighter, so I'm thinking it is going to be the right front that is an issue, if anything. Maybe they'll get to fighting, that would really help me out too, if second and third get side by side. That could be my ticket. To easy sailing. Entered a little lower than I would have liked there. It's not what I want. But if they start fighting and burning their tires off as bad as I am out here, then uh, I'll feel pretty good. So if they want to get to doing that, be my guest. Another uh, advantage of the uh, gap and say and partially saved method here. You don't have uh, guys breathing down your neck and trying to make moves on you. And I can be out here alone and focus on what I'm doing. Starting to feel like I'm gonna fall off though. 
that's probably when it, uh, they're going to start reeling me back in. Yeah, you can see the red starting to show up. Wonder if I need to start using brakes at any point. I'm gonna adjust the way I'm lifting off, I think. Maybe bigger lift offs early. Angle the car as best as I can. And heavier on the throttle and exit. Yeah, that was better than last lap, I think, but just barely. Speed wise, who knows what it's doing tire wise. Feels okay. Getting tighter, but not unmanageable at this point. Your last lap time was at 32.5. Like I said, they gotta catch back up to me. And then they have to pass me. And I'm not getting up off this high side. So. That's gonna be their challenge. <laughs> My challenge to you. It's like fun to play challenge. Can you pass a guy who won't get the heck off the high line? My NASCAR Thunder 2003 Thunder Plate Challenge. There's like three people that know what I'm talking about right now. Maybe that's generous even. The gap behind is now 1.6. So he's catching up, but just barely. We are just over halfway. Just done a 32.7. Entered a little lower than I would have liked there. That hurt me on my run off. And less good for the tires. I definitely don't want to hit the uh, safer barrier on entry like uh, I'm doing here. God, oh, I suck. I was thinking about the safer barrier, and I hit it, of course. So there, that's my race ruined. They're going to catch me now. That's way too much time to lose in a competitive right, race like this. Plus, it's hurting the car. I'm sure, it hurt the right front, so. They want my chance to win. That sucks. I literally was thinking about the wall, and it made me go into the wall. Like, that's just how it works sometimes. So, they'll catch me and probably be able to pass me now. That stinks. Um, should be a top three, though, at least. He's not turning so much anymore. Yeah, right front. Definitely a big problem. When it, uh, big problem, kind of like I expected. Even more than I expected, really. I'd like the looser setup to be on the right rear more easily, but oh well. Do I dare try a lower line at this point? That's kind of what the guys behind are doing. Needs a little bit of break on entry. Can't boost down there. Stink. He's here. Car inside. 
So I'll try to do what I said, but he's clearly got much better tires. Okay, Colton, that's good consistency. Keep it up. Clear inside. Barely clears me. Car inside. Stay high. Still inside. Do I just let this guy go so we can potentially wreck the leader or something? <laughs> no, I don't want that to happen. One's coming fast. Don't know why you're fucking wide. That doesn't seem to help anybody. Right now. Blink right into me. So using some brakes now. Inside. Still inside. Clear inside. He gets it around me. The car outside. Stay low. Ten to go, dick time bar. Stay low. Bang. Outside is clear. Outside. There goes both those spots. Stay low. Tried to clear him again. Keep low. Oh, well. Outside, clear. The gap ahead is now 0.1. Car outside. I guess how well I was able to keep up down there, but I won't have the run off. Then we will fall back to fourth. I think even if I didn't hit the wall, I would have been caught pretty easily. My, uh... Feathering the throttle method didn't get me on the right rear enough. Not quite enough, so. It's interesting they're not using the uh, apron there. Really seems to save some time, but what do I know? They're ahead of me. Got three plus seconds behind us, though, so it's like fourth. Should be alright, as long as I don't put in the wall again. Is he in the wall? Yeah, but not enough for me to do anything about it. That's a lap traffic. That's interesting. Inside. Still there, inside. Stay high. Clear inside. You must have hit the wall a couple more times. That's A okay with me. Probably not likely though. You got five left to go. Five to go. Like if I could clear. straddle that uh, seam, maybe I would have been able to help my tires longer. What? Are you serious? Is this ten really coming up on my inside? What are you doing? You better make this pass doing? clean and fast. Clear inside. 
Why would you just come up across the track like that? In my way. I don't understand lap cars sometimes, man. I guess he does have someone behind him, but whatever. I'm not giving up on the chance that the guy ahead gets into the wall, so I'm not really enthused about losing a bunch of time at the moment. Stay down here and see if the draft is better. No way, man. I mean, look at the bar. I lost like half a half a tenth. Definitely preferring using the apron in the front stretch. Maybe he'll go wreck the seven now. This lap car. I don't know. Well, this time we're gaining on the apron. Way to be. Definitely think. Go high. Lap times are pretty consistent. Seen some interesting lap cars here. Heard someone. I think it was the 22 talking about a questionable decision made. It shouldn't be that low of a strength of field. Or like I said, we're about 90 people signed up, which is higher than I normally get when I race. Who knows? What flag did God? Flag. <laughs> Lap car going for the pass. For third. Quote unquote. And about getting into him. What is this? What's wrong with people? I'm not even going to feel good if I get this spot because of this dude running into them or something. Looks like the 7 will survive the lap car, and uh, we will take our fourth place. Don't know why someone's stopping on the track either, but who's that apron? Good race, good win. All right. I'll take it, top five. Go ahead and park it down here. Don't run to the back of me, please. Thank you. All right. So keep in the top five. That's what I figured, even if I wasn't able to pull them off. I figured I'd still be far enough out front. Uh, when my tires fall off, I'd still get a decent finish. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was expecting to see. So 35-63. Believe it or not, not good. good. But, um, oh well, it was fun. If I do it again, I'll probably try to save tires a different way. Or save a little more on the start. But, um, the method I chose still got me a good finish, so... Not too upset. Let's see what happened out here. Alright. So we're three wide before we even get to the start finish line, and the guy's blinking out, and I don't know. Oh, yeah, someone missed a shift at the start. So we're four wide into turn one and lap one. And believe it or not, it works out perfectly. People getting pushed into the wall. We'll hit there. We're going to see me do that for too long. 21 loose and overcorrecting into the wall. That's a heavy hit. Knock your wheels out of alignment. Some more of the same. DeWalt with the neon green number. That's kind of interesting. It kind of clashes a bit, doesn't it? Almost like they had a different paint scheme and then switch it. Forgot to change the number. Hopefully hitting the wall and getting all crazy in front of Jeff Gordon. That worked out actually kind of decently for how hard he hit that wall. He didn't lose too much time. Hmm. 24 maybe. 
turn the wheel right a little bit in the corner because they were afraid they were going to get hit by the person driving by. You just can't do that or else you're going to be in the wall. Pretend wall hit there. That's the wall hit. They're not going to get that thing turned. Not with that high of an entry. Oh, wow. You know what? They did a better job than I expected them to. Barely touched it. Here's your future lap car. How did it, uh... I was gonna, I was thought, I was thinking we were gonna see why they became a lap car, but now they're just blinking. Here's me being dumb. It's entry too high. Like, it, literally, it was a self fulfilling prophecy. I was thinking about, you know, don't enter too high and end up in the wall, and then that's exactly what I did. So you have to be thinking about what you need to do, not what you need to not, not to do. Yeah. Hmm. I, I am gonna drive this more probably on my own time. Maybe I'll record it, maybe, maybe not. But I always love running these races. Got some things I want to try for next time. Lots of blinkers in this race. Is this when something happens to the 10? No, this is when the 10 blinks again. Let's swab before we even get to the corner. Ugh, and then they bounce off. What a dodge by the 9! Keep it down there, 15. Oh, they didn't. They didn't. Oh, they didn't. Looks like everyone was able to avoid, though. Here's what happens to the 10. Oh my gosh, you can't even see what's... Well, that's probably why it happened in the first place. No one can see what's happening. Six probably has no idea where they are. And surprise, they're on your outside. Can't call that on a six, I have no idea where the ten is. That car's not turning. Car's not turning either. Oh boy. Beating that car up. Car's still not turning. People are starting to hit some critical points with the tires. Really got to start backing it down later in the run. I was starting to use brakes. Just on entry. Just slow it down and get it pitched. Yod, whatever. Ugh. Ugh, this is messy. There are cars everywhere. Lots of wheel in it. Kind of survives without hitting the wall, but that probably ripped the right front off. I tell people are putting so much wheel into it at this point. Including me. Did I hit the wall at another point? No. That's when the guy hits the wall in front of me, though. Doesn't get stuck up there long enough for anything to happen, though. Is the 9 going to slide up and hit the 11? No, the 11 just going to hit the wall. And then turn down on the 9. Interesting. So they survived the wall hit without losing too much time, and then they're just like, I'm going to turn left now. Can't assume the guy below you is going to take the apron. A lot of people weren't. So, it's on the 9 there, turning down. Neon number. Brushing some of that neon off into the wall, and what on earth are we doing? Oh, that's terrible. Okay, I know what happened here. Their tires are on fire, super hot, and then they gas it up, and it pulls them to the right. Oh my god, that is horrible. <laughs> that looks intentional. It looks like they just got frustrated and hung a right. But 100% what they did was, and you'll hear it if we go into the cockpit, their tires are nuclear hot. You see, they, they gas it up. Zoom! <laughs> and then it pulls into the right, and uh-oh! There were people there. So, not great. 
but it did, it wasn't as intentional as it looked like. But I don't think those guys that got hit by the 11 much care. Oh no. 22 cars broken, and I don't know if they realized until they got to this corner. That could have been another disaster. So all of a sudden their car's not turning at all. Thankfully that wasn't right into the middle of a pack like the last one was. Very scary situation. It's the kind of fun you get when there's no cautions in Arca. Very tight race cars. Ooh, and the one, not unable to keep it off the wall there. They've got enough gap, they can keep it. That's car on pit road. Don't know why we saw it. Here's the 10, making an incredible pass for third, quote unquote. I don't know why they're even bothering. <laughs> that's, the, that's the end of the race. You got the neon green guy stopping on the apron. So, that was that. Um, pretty fun. Nice to be on a larger track again. I burned my tires off. Water is wet. You know how it goes. But, <laughs> um, learned a little bit of something about how I would approach it differently next time. And still got a good finish. I knew even if I uh, burned my tires off, I could still pull it into a top five most likely. So that's why I just approached it the way I did. Stay safe far away from everybody, burn the tires off, and then once everybody's spread out, they can pass me one by one. <laughs> so, it works out. It worked out just fine. Gotta sell ourselves a top five. So, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Um, maybe I'll come back later this week for this. Not sure. Probably, uh, before I do that, I'll upload some other stuff first, though. Hopefully find the time. And, uh, hope to see you there. Have a good one. Thanks for watching.